setting up your meeting. All right, everybody. It's a uh, special late night edition. <laughs> Drawing with Fishes podcast. We have been working feverishly to get you guys this class. We've had some last minute uh, hiccups, but we're we're on schedule. Um, it might not go live early in the morning tomorrow, but it will go live tomorrow. Um, so yeah, definitely looking forward to getting the class together. How's it going, Marty? Dude, it's gone. And then in a food coma, we had a <coughs> we had our harvest dinner today, so we uh smoked a turkey and a prime rib we had uh all the all the good foods we had with uh what do they call it smashed potatoes so you make like baked potatoes and like halfway through you smash them and then roast them super high really good all kinds of good food so i'm, I'm about ready to fall asleep in my food coma but got some coffee we're pushing through you know how about you how you doing I'm doing good. Um, just been working. Um, got a bunch of new stuff to show everybody. Um, super excited about that. We've been working hard to get the uh, the online aquaponic cannabis class going. I know we've spent I don't even know how many different days recording. You know, <laughs> two, three, four, five hour sections here and there, and and then compiling all this video footage that we've taken over the years, and, and just it's been a lot of fun. So. Um, we're going to be starting to release that stuff starting tomorrow, um, or actually in most time zones while in the United States at this point today. <laughs> later today. Yeah. Everywhere but to the Pacific, <laughs> uh, later today. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, yeah, definitely uh, uh, look for that over apmjclass.com. Super excited to uh, finally get that out there. Uh, and then we also have a new project, which we'll be revealing tomorrow or Sunday, depending on um, uh, how things go. We have everything is is pretty much ready to go. We're just making sure there's no bugs and uh, testing the store real quick. Uh, to, um, and we're going to finalize that in the morning. Um, we just kind of ran out of daylight today um, on a brand new aquaponic cannabis website um, that is specifically for aquaponic cannabis growers. It has nutrients for aquaponic cannabis growers with instructions on the bag for aquaponic cannabis growers. We'll also have grow kits so that you can buy a, a one kit and, and it has everything you need to grow from, from start to finish. Everything, you know, as far as supplemental nutrients go. Um, you know, we also have veg and bloom options um, so that you can adjust it for your own, your own stuff. Or if you want to buy the minerals individually, you can buy them that way as well. If you're a professional or you just want to, you know, you, you know what you're doing. Um, I'm not going to question you. Uh, go right ahead. Um, but we do have kind of a, a min-max recommended dosage. Uh, on there uh, so that you can go ahead and um, you know make your own mind up for for what you think that is going to be a good um, you know dose uh, but it you know kind of takes all the guesswork out of it you know a lot of people have said hey um, how can we you know simplify this uh, how can we make it easier um, uh, you know we really want to grow aquaponic cannabis um, we're going to have all that taken care of for you by the end of the weekend uh, and then we're going to be also adding additional microbes additional um, uh, other components we'll have uh, other other things for you guys, um, you know, for growing aquaponic cannabis on the store, uh, available through the website, um, which we'll be announcing t uh, either tomorrow or, or more than likely Sunday. Um, and uh, yeah, and you'll be able to check that out over at apmjmutes.com. Um, um, uh, yeah, so that'll be a, a lot of fun. We've been putting a lot of work into that, so I've been doing that simultaneously with. Um, um, uh, while, while also getting this class together. So it's been a, a lot of work and then also working on all the normal things that I work on here in Oklahoma. So a lot of work uh, and a lot of staying up till two or three o'clock in the morning. I know my girlfriend's definitely been annoyed. <laughs> my wife's in the same boat. She's like, how long is this 3 a.m. shit gonna last? <laughs> yeah, for sure. But I mean, it, ideally, once we get to this point, then we'll kind of have the ability to make a lot of the stuff that you guys have been asking for and, and on on different levels like 
people have been asking about nutrients since day one, okay? Like, uh, okay, I understand I can make my own. I understand that I can do worm castings and compost and all these other things. I get all that teas. I love all that stuff, but guess what? I don't have time for it. I, you know, like this is a hobby for me. Like, I just want, please tell me what I can go buy from the grocery store or I, maybe you're on the East Coast and grocery stores aren't as available to you. What can I order online? Where can I order it from? Like, we can finally put all of those things out there <clears throat> um, and have a nutrient service to connect you with if you want to do that. So now you can have the online class, which will tell you all of the stuff that you need to know how to uh, design, order, implement, cycle, <clears throat> maintain, tweak, uh, everything about your system. And on top of that, you said, okay, well, what about all this testing equipment? What about all these nutrients I need to have? Okay, well, here, we can just connect you with the service. Send us your water, get it tested. We'll send you the nutrients you need back. You tell us what we're growing. There's a whole, you know, we feel like now that it's not just teaching the same class again, that we can put it all together, put it all in one place and allow you guys to be able to utilize it on whatever level you need. If you just need the class and you want to make your own nutrients, great. <clears throat> if you just want the nutrients and you don't want the class because you've been running the system for five years, great. <clears throat> and then we're not always having to worry about how we want to tweak it. And with the format that we're looking at going with, we'll be able to make it a, a continual thing. It'll just get updated. It won't be uh, one solid video that's recorded and edited all the way through. So if we want to add links, if we want to add more stuff to the discussion we can just add to it so um it's going to be a great kind of interactive teaching environment and uh, i think that um it it definitely allows us to put all of the stuff in that you can't we really can fit all into into a weekend and this will allow people to come back and consume it at their own pace just like any uh, other virtual learning class that i'm sure a lot of us are much more familiar with <laughs> given covid Especially if you're a parent, you've probably gotten really familiar with uh, distance learning, as they call it here. And uh, and so really, we're trying to mimic a lot of that stuff and use it to our advantage uh, and be able to deliver really more information, more content, keep it up to date um, and uh, piece all of that together with the nutrient service. And you can get all of those services that uh, people collectively have been asking for. Um, those are always the common thread of things that we've gotten from day one, um, you know, which is how to build and run and design everything about your system. Um, you know, if you don't know how to grow cannabis, we have tons of sections for beginner all the way through advanced, um, cover everything from genetics and breeding, all that kind of stuff. So I think that it's been, uh, it's so much content, it's hours and hours of video that we've uh, been able to record, um, put together things that we've learned on this podcast with a lot of you guys that have been listening for a long time. A lot of the um, references that we have will be to speakers that we've had uh, or guests that we've had on the show or on the Aquaponic Cannabis Conference, uh, which you haven't checked that out, you definitely should too. But um, so, Again, a lot of this stuff isn't new. It's not really stuff that we don't say spread out over our 200 episodes of the podcast, but it's much more well organized. And all all the, the links are in one place. Um, the, the topics are there. So if you're really only, you're primarily interested in IPM or you need to review IPM again, or you have a, even a specific bug, you, you know, hopefully you can go in and find just the lease wing section and cover releasing those because that's what you're going to do or maybe the section on aphids because you just found aphids uh, or maybe you're learning about scouting so you're going to look up our section about scouting and how to label stuff or maybe you have a your commercial environment and you have a new employee that you want to teach how to scout but you don't have the time or labor to um, you can sit them down in front of a video and say here you know just like the training videos you have in many workplaces nowadays so Yes, it's been a ton of work. Yes, we stay up till 3 a.m., uh, but there's light at the end of the tunnel and with the launch of the first section tomorrow. And, um, you know, hopefully 
Uh, we're getting to the point now where I'm getting good enough at the editing where I can crank out sections pretty quickly. The format's all set. We've got things, you know, rolling. So I'm really excited for the stuff that we've been doing over the past. Well, it's been months at this point, <laughs> all the way back when Steve was in Africa. Uh, yeah, it's how long we've been recording our first sections, which some of that's just because we were busy and <laughs> there's a long time between recording sessions, but we made it work. And I'm I'm just glad to have light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, and, and launching the first section and um, and having people already signed up and ready to go. It feels more like a, you know, kind of like a grow group <laughs> kind of situation. And uh, I'm excited to have a more interactive place to help people with actual projects. Um, I think is is going to be super cool. Yeah, and, and we've also had, you know, so many cool videos that we've had a chance to film or, or insect examples. I know I have a ton of, you know, disaster piece examples of walking into a grow and, you know, I'm not going to tell you where the grow is, but um, it's a great example of just a place completely overrun with aphids or white flies or, you know, whatever. Um, I, I've walked into pretty much everything at this point um, uh, that people have called me out for. I know you, you've had a lot of similar type of examples in Oregon as well where people call you out there and they should have called you a long time before them. Um, but it makes right. for great example footage when we're trying to show people what it, what it, you know, here's the insect, here's all the different life stages in one photo uh, so that they can understand it. Um, but also, hey, you know, if you don't address this, this is what it'll look like. Um, you know, so there's a lot of interesting things and a lot of examples of demonstrations and then treatments as well, where we can kind of show you, you know, over the course of a period of time and a bunch of other neat stuff that we just wouldn't have the opportunity to really do uh, and show you in the proper context in a live class. Um, so uh, having this available and then having us available for questions, uh, you know, on top of the, the different sections really is going to be, I think, a, a much better learning experience. We also have such a high demand for people in newer markets uh, over overseas that especially with current global events um, are, are simply unable to, to travel to the United States so uh, for a wide range of reasons so um, this also allows a lot of people uh, I know in South Africa and in uh, um, you know parts of Europe and other places that are starting to come online uh, as parts of South America um, and, and really help them um, you know uh, uh, jump ahead on education from uh, some of the resources for Africa. You know, we, one of the, the resources provided with the class is a, a spreadsheet that, that has all your pest control for, for Africa specifically, because I was over there, you know? So you know, this is the type of stuff where if you are doing this, you know, more on a, on a commercial end, this is definitely a great resource to buy. And we're only going to get more stuff. I think that's kind of the nice part, like I was saying about the content is that when we, when we get more pictures of different types of bug infestations or, uh, you know, PM or whatever, you know, whatever stuff that people send to us, because in addition to, because like Steve was saying, you know, people call us in when it's too late, or in my case, a lot of times people bring me plants to try to save after it's too late. Um, you know, Steve was here one time. <laughs> I think they showed up the same day Steve did. And he, he's like, they just brought you these? I'm like, yeah, they got to save them. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and uh, and so, the, you know, that, that kind of stuff happens. And so we can have pictures of root aphids or spider mites or russets or any of those things that just end up, we end up encountering given where we're at, which especially for people starting out is, is a huge value. And we also teach you how to build your own bug library. You know, so what what processes you need to be able to go through to, to build that up for yourself and talk about how to do that. So um, and some of the stuff we're going to talk about today, like he's got his top five uh, gifts, uh, Christmas gifts. And some of those things are already going to be recommended stuff in the class, obviously. So this is just an example of, you know, five of those things that. Uh, well, I guess four technically spoiler, but uh <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I think that those are all just examples of things that are are tough to fit into uh, even a, a four day class. When we did the four day class, it, we still can fit all of those things we just talked about in. And this format will really allow us to. And we don't have to expect myself or Steve or honestly uh, any of the people that have to take the class to sit down and spend more than four straight days trying to consume everything because by the end even teaching it, you feel burned out. So 
Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I think one of the people told me after one of the classes was, I feel like I was assaulted with knowledge. Like I, I couldn't absorb it. Assaulted with anything. knowledge, yeah. Yeah. So I think that's good. So what what uh, what Christmas gifts you got for us, Steve? All right, yeah, let me, uh, let me get sharing going on here. As my dog tries to get attention, jerk face. He's the star of the show. Yeah, he's about to turn eight months old, so. Watch it open chat. Looking, looking at a, almost, almost got him an Arctic wolf girlfriend today, but we decided against it because they were a little bit too wound up compared to him, so he doesn't need to be any different. Um, anyways, it's unrelevant unrele to the show. Um, so uh, check this out here. So we have um, uh, Aqua Vitro Premier. Now this is, in my opinion, the best um, chlorine and chloramine neutralizer on the market. Um, this provides you not only with the chlorine and chloramine neutralizer, but it also has potassium you know, which is something that we're often often needing. Uh, and it can be dosed in, in very small amounts. You know, a cap full of this bottle, which you can get at most uh, pet, pet smarts uh, or local mom and pop, you know, uh, higher end aquarium stores, especially if they have reef tanks they'll probably, or in planted aquariums, they'll have this in, in their shop. Um, it, it is simply the best way because it, it breaks apart the, uh, of the chloramine, it breaks apart the ammonia and the chlorine uh, and uh, allows that ammonia to be turned into plant food, right? So um, it's a great way to, um, uh, uh, you know, you neutralize your chlorine, but also, you know, do it in a way that's, that's plant beneficial um, and, and is highly cost effective as well, because again, a, a small amount, just a cap fold is 250 gallons. So even if you have a large or even commercial system, um, it doesn't even take that much. And it is the only, unlike all your other chlorine neutralizers, which traditionally people tell you uh, to use something like sodium thiosulfate, which is very commonly sold for aquaponics as a chlorine neutralizer. Um, this actually contains no sodium. So you do not have that long-term sodium buildup problem uh, that uh, you do have with the, the sodium thiosulfate chlorine neutralizers, which are traditionally sold for aquaponics. Um, so again, it really is a great one and it's cheap. You know, you can get a bottle that's like 12 to 15 bucks most of the time uh, at the pet shops. Again, great, great Christmas gift if you're looking for someone that has an aquaponics system. Uh, definitely something to think about that, that's on the cheaper side. All right. Next up, we have the standard API aquarium test kit. Um, anybody out there that has ever uh, uh, tested their water has, has knows what these are. Um, you can get this at uh, you know any old aquarium store, PetSmart, uh, Petco, you know mom and pop shop. A lot of grocery stores even sell this. Um, so definitely uh, uh, something that you know an, an Aquarius will need. Um, they will go through it over time, and certainly if you had it out in a greenhouse over the summer, um, you know, and it sat there, got warm, or if it froze, it certainly can be um, inaccurate um, because of either high or, or low temperatures. And it is best to replace these after about a year. You know, you don't really want to let them sit that long. And you know, for for 22, 23 bucks, you know, it's you know, it's not like it's going to break the bank to get you. Uh, a, a new one. So, um, you know, definitely another great gift guide or a gift idea uh, as long as, as well as, um, you know, any of the other API test kits, um, you know, they do have quite a wide range of different um, test kits available. Uh, pH, I would avoid the test strips. They are very inaccurate. Um, if you are going to uh, buy somebody a, a pH gift, um, but the, the, the titration kits are definitely are a, a great option and a very accurate option compared to a lot of the other ones. It's always good to have, even if you have probes or yep. um, testers, you know, electronic testers, always have a backup uh, API test. Well, it really any chemical based, you know, test kit. Um, j just because then you, you can cross reference and make sure that your, your testers are accurate and know when you need to calibrate instead of guess, um, all those types of things. So definitely. Uh, you know, even, even if you have a probe uh, or maybe you only have a couple of them, because really to get uh, uh, probes for all those different things that I test for would be pretty expensive compared to the 20 bucks that you can test all of those things for. So uh, oh, yeah. just um, have one ready to go. 
Oh yeah. And, and the other thing too is, is that just like Marty is saying that you should always have one of these on hand because if your pH meter starts giving you weird readings, double check it. Seriously, and at the very least, once a week, you should be double checking all your probes with us with the third party titration uh, titration test kit. Um, every once in a blue moon, you will get a a target pH that's off, or a you know calibration that just doesn't work. Right? Like stuff happens, right? Like if you if you do this enough times, you're going to see some weird problems, or some or your employee is going to maybe not calibrate it right. You know, probably more likely depending on their training. Uh, or how their experiences uh, with with water chemistry. So um, again, having something like this that's very cheap uh, that will you know be within 0.1, 0.2 accuracy uh, on the worst case, uh, and uh, you know give you that kind of baseline that you can double check your cell phone at least once in a while, uh, just to make sure all your electronic equipment is staying accurate. And that, and that and that holds true for just about any of your your testers. You know, if you're doing a lot of, especially with the fancier test kits. Um, definitely have, uh, you know, some of these titration kits around or even some of the HANA kits around just to double check and make sure that they don't drift on you once in a while. You know, it's not something you need to do all the time, but maybe do it once a month or something like that, just to make sure everything's staying where it should be. Especially before you adjust something. So if you test and it comes out at a range, high or low, and you're going you're gonna to adjust something, just make sure that based on a probe reading or, a, you know, a reader, uh, just double check it with uh, with your backup test kit before you make the adjustment. Peace kit. Yep, absolutely. And and like I said, if you think something's strange, double check it. You know, that, I, I think that. whether you think it's strange or not, if it's out of range, if it's not, for me, <clears throat> if it's not 6.5 to 6.8, so if it comes up uh, 6.9, then I double check it if it comes out 6.9 on this test kit then i adjust the water a little tiny bit to bring it back down but if it's not outside of that range and the same thing low obviously if it tests low then i i do the same thing so but just if it's outside of range just double check it if it's way out of range then obviously you know yeah double check it but it, it takes not not that long i think the longest one is the the two-parter that takes like 12 minutes or something like that. It's not that long. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think there's any of them that are that, are that bad uh, in terms of time. And, and you know, if you really want to jump down this rabbit hole, you know, we do have a great spreadsheet in the, the Aquaponic Cannabis Growers uh, Facebook group that I've made that has all the individual test kits, uh, or most of them anyway. I did find a few new ones. I need to update it, but um, uh, it is pretty accurate. I mean, it gives you options for everything. It just doesn't have all the newest ones on it. That's all. Right, that's a great point. That's another thing that people have asked for repeatedly is having access to this information outside of Facebook because we run every most things through the Facebook uh, group. So this class will give us another platform that won't allow you to participate in Facebook if you do understand and sympathize with your concerns. So just one more thing we're trying to make available here. So, so we, we do have the uh, an aquaponic cannabis growers uh, Reddit as well. Um, and there is a gentleman that actually asked the last day or two about the test kit specifically on over there cool. so you, you can find a link on there but um uh, most of the stuff that we have available to, uh, to date has been on the, the facebook file section because it has been the easiest place to host things um for sure all right so this is the uh the most accurate uh for the price in terms of ac um uh, uh point ph points um that you can buy on amazon um you know for for thirty dollars you can get a you know, within 0.1 pH, 0 0.01 pH. Um, so, you know, if you're doing anything in aquaponics, is again, having one of these, but still having that API test kit around for double checking uh, is going to be, you know, critical uh, to making sure that you don't accidentally miscalibrate something or, or, or whatever. For but sure. certainly, uh, again, another great gift if you want to spend a little bit more. Uh, the next one we have is um, uh, curved blade pruners. Uh, anybody that has weed is going to go through these things, a, a couple of them every run, certainly if they're doing a lot of pruning. Um, so um, definitely uh, can never have too many of these. So again, another great stocking stuffer idea. Uh, you, you simply can't have too many. Plus, keep in mind, too, there, there are different uh, kinds. So there, for 
especially people that have carpal tunnel. Um, there are some of them that you can squeeze more with your palm that have little finger loop. You know, there are different types. They have bigger handholds and um, different things to make it easier. So find find some that you like. Um, <clears throat> you know, try to stick with the the name brands that you know give you quality, really. Um, but uh, I, I would say, you know, definitely play around with it because it'll be one of the things that um, you'll, you'll find some that you like, a handle shape. Like you can see the, the Fiskars there have a little kind of indentation up around the grip. So little, little things will make them different. You know, again, you're going to go through them. So buy a couple of different kinds, see which ones you like. If you've got trimmers that you're going to bring in and you're going to, you know, have some different types ready for them. Um, and you'll always need some. You either need some now or you'll need some a couple of weeks from now. It's not, seems like always the case. Whether you need new clean ones to cut clones with. I know a lot of people use razor blades and there's some you can get for those also. But I, I have these exact blue ones. Those are my favorite. So, so I finally figured out how Neo trained for fighting Agent Smith with just one arm. <laughs> he had a wolf dog. He had a wolf dog. As he jumps up on my shoulder, and I'm oh, talking about him. Yeah. You should name your dog Agent Smith. That'd be awesome. <laughs> on, on cue. I swear to God, I didn't train to do that. I told you, he's the that star of the show, good. man. You're holding him back. He is. I'm sitting here, I'm going to fight him off with my left arm while we're trying to go through this. This is too funny. Anyways, um, again, if you're looking for another great cheaper gift guide, and you don't have a ton of money. Um, you know, this is six bucks, you know what I mean? So, uh, I, you know, certainly not going to break the bank, but definitely something they will use. You know, if they're looking for something that they're going to actually use, great cheap stocking, stocking stuffer. Uh, another good one that people are always running out of at the worst time, cloning gel. And this is the one that we highly recommend uh, is Olivia's cloning gel. Um, it's organically certified. Uh, so, you, you know, if they're Omri or non Omri, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, they'll be fine either way. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, you can get all different types of sizes. You know, if you really want to combine it, you can get on the plugs too, um, depending on what you're doing. Uh, and, uh, you know, rapid rooters or iHort plugs, um, you know, for the, the cloner in your family. Uh, and another, uh, another great one. Pen growers, tomato growers also use it for that. So. Aloe. Um, yeah. Just buy somebody an aloe plant. Another um, good option. And then, uh, I don't know if you can uh, check chat there. While I'm growing. Uh, uh, with the screen share. I don't have that. Oh, up. that's cool. Actually, I can throw that. Um, so this is the other thing I, I wanted to mention. Um, if you're looking for something that's a little bit maybe more family oriented, or maybe you're doing a lot more homeschooling and you want to do something that's more of a, um, um, uh, you know, better for the, the education type type model, or maybe you want to have something with your kids and maybe, you know, you want to have, uh, or your, you know, anything more children oriented, really. Um, this is a great option that you can get off the shelf. Um, uh, Jack uh, Eichert is the, the owner of that uh, over there. He's a great guy. Uh, puts a lot of time and effort into education, uh, helps schools all the time. They donate a lot of their scratch and dents to schools that just simply can't afford them. Uh, when, when there's, you know, something's a little bit uh, comes back where somebody had broken something or something, they'll, they'll re just replace that part and then send it off to a, to a school that needs it. So he's a really great guy, does a lot of donating to the, the community, helps a lot for, for education, really is just a great company all around uh, to support. So definitely check them out. Uh, certainly if you're looking for something much more on the kind of uh, education end, and this just fits right over a standard 10 gallon aquarium. Um, they're a great little system, great little kit. And um, yeah, definitely something to, to check out for sure. That's pretty cool, I like it. Yeah. And then um, uh, the last place, if you're looking for vegetable seeds, uh, you know, the absolute best is Baker Creek. Um, if you ha aren't familiar, um, it's the place to go for vegetable seeds. Um, by far, uh, has the coolest selection. If you're looking for a cool place to get somebody a gift card for their aquatic vegetable grow, uh, this is the place for sure. Um, just really unique stuff. 
All right. Now, uh, for nutrients, again, true aquaponics is another great source for that. Uh, if you're looking for, you know, getting different things, if somebody needs iron or pH kit or, you know, just whatever it is that they need, um, you know, uh, definitely a great place. They also have um, all different types of um, uh, services. They also have the, the consulting service for nutrients on there. They have, uh, you know, tank uh, fishless aquarium setups and all different types of things. So, Definitely a, a great thing. And they're adding new stuff all the time. Uh, he's got some pest control options. They'll be adding significantly more soon. Another great place to check out if you're looking for another place to get people stuff from them. Uh, last but not least, our class. Um, you can check it out at apmjclass.com. Um, the website here, this link will be, well, the link won't change for you, but the back end will change to the new website here when it goes live tomorrow um, so that uh, it'll go to the new website uh, for, for that. So um, uh, definitely check that out. It might take till noon or, or three o'clock Pacific um, before we get it all live tomorrow. Um, but uh, it will go live tomorrow. I just don't have a time yet for you guys. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, it is a, a, a full masterclass on, on aquaponic cannabis growing, everything from start to finish. We'll, uh, we'll be doing a, a building workshop here in the next few weeks. We'll be doing a, a live build. So if you have questions, you know, we'll be doing live sections for the students for the, the whole build from scratch. So it'll be a, a, another great experience. So that if you, if you aren't familiar uh, and you're one of the, the early people, uh, you will have that, that experience of going through that and having, being able to watch that live um, while we record that section for the, the, uh, the kind of medium scale system. Um, we're, we're building out kind of a, a part of a room uh, where we'll be doing some side-by-sides against controls, uh, just kind of sh to show off how much better aquaponics does against soil and stuff like that. Um, so, and then some of the other traditional, uh, less thought out aquaponic methods that people are using. Um, uh, so it'll be a lot of fun. Man, I don't know why he's just absolutely rabid for attention. He was not doing this like the three <coughs> seconds before we went live. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, Marty and I have been uh, putting a ton of effort into this. So I really appreciate everyone taking the time again. Uh, tried to put together a quick little gift guide. We try to do that every year, but uh, we figured we'd end it today with the uh, with the class going live here. Uh, again, we're going to run the discount um, uh, another couple of extra days uh, just because of the delay on getting the class launched. We were hoping to get it launched on Wednesday, so we'll add a couple of days to that, but um, uh, to give the late, late adopters a chance to get the discount. But after that, we'll go up to $650, and, um, and that'll be the price from there. So Definitely check that out if you haven't had a chance. And uh, um, we will catch you guys again soon. You can check us out at uh, potentponics at Gmail, SoundCloud, iTunes, uh, and uh, check the class out at apmjclass.com. For sure. You can check me out on uh, AP Meds, on YouTube, AP Meds, Instagram, all those fun places. Um, Aquaponic Cannabis Growers Group on Facebook, obviously. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in the class. Well, I really appreciate, oh, let me turn sharing off and check the chat. Oh, uh, what are they saying, chat? Follow instructions with the master kit. Milwaukee is what I use. Yeah, that's another great example. Uh, if you want something and you want to spend a little bit more money on a more higher end continuous pH monitor, um, Milwaukee brand is the one that I recommend the most. Um, I also heavily use Blue Labs. A lot of my customers have Blue Labs from, from you know previous choices, but if I have a choice in picking the lab of equipment from the, from the get-go, I definitely prefer Milwaukee. I just find that they're still a little bit more heavy duty and they tend to not break quite so often. The, the gauge of the, the wiring they use in them is a little bit thicker compared to the, the blue labs and stuff like that. So, you know, you're kind of getting a little bit better product. Alrighty, well, thanks a lot. And, uh, and we'll catch you guys again soon. Be sure to check us out over at uh, apmjclass.com. Uh, if you're interested in the uh,